check it out guys. Boot camp, uh, chicken wings, hot chicken wings with the Wilson Super Sauce, uh, the boot camp barbecue sauce, and I've literally just took them out of the bag. Um, that was roasting them in for the last 30 minutes. I'm now gonna cover them. Um, just brush them all over, nice and generously, with the sauce that's just at the bottom of the pan. And, and then these are going back in to the, to the oven for around 15 to 20 minutes, just to um, just to harden off, crisp off, and um, I'll probably turn them over. Sorry, I'm gonna do it for about 10 minutes, then turn them over about halfway through, and then cook it for a further 10 minutes. And again, just coat them in the, in the sauce, let them crisp over. Uh, these are gonna taste phenomenal. I'll certainly let you know as always. Check it out. That wait. Hey guys, so I'm going to show you right now how to make um, the boot camp potato skins where we're going to basically, so far, I'll let you know where I've got to, is I've cooked the spud now in the oven um, for about, how long has it been? About 45 minutes. Um, and it's just, it's not super soft in the middle of the moment, it's just turning, it's fairly stiff. All I'm going to do right now is scoop everything out of that potato into the bowl. Is it? Wings and potato skins, yeah, definitely. Soul food. Okay, guys, so um, I've scooped all the potato out of the potato skins, um, so it's in the bowl right now, and our next step is to find the secret ingredients. So I'm going to place, firstly, um, just a knob of butter. Yeah? What? You said something. Okay, a knob of butter goes into the potato. Um, and mash it up. Get your masher up there. Mash that up. Bit of elbow grease from all those boot camp push ups. It's going to be a cinch. Now, guys, it's a bit, a bit of preparation. This one, you've got to cook the potatoes. Uh, be delicate when you're scooping them out. But you know what? Because you're going to be like focusing on your cooking. You're not going to be thinking about psychological hunger. So instead of reaching out for something in the fridge um, that you, your body doesn't eat to eat, um, you're not going to be thinking about that because you're going to be cooking up something awesome. And when you do get to eat it, you're going to savour your food and you're going to enjoy the food and feel fuller uh, when you get it. As opposed to certainly on a Saturday night with the TV and eating, uh, you don't think about what you're eating um, and you over oh, we are we tend to overeat. But what we're doing right now is appreciating the food, cooking the food, taking the time, uh, we're going to savour it, enjoy it, and you won't overeat, promise you. Okay, so I've mashed up my potato, next job, secret ingredient, is to grab um, my goat's cheese. So, just, I'm going to place about a third of my goat's cheese, soft goat's cheese, or you can use hard and grate in there, that works well as well, um, but I've got soft goat's cheese, I'm just going to mash that into there as well. That is a really nice smooth potato. And then get that in there. Now I'm gonna just salt and pepper it. So get the sergeant pepper mill. Get the pepper in there. Get the salt in there. Again, mash that up. And you, your soft goat's cheese or your hard goat's cheese that you would have grated into there would have gone mashed, would have melted in. It's nice, it should be like this nice fluffy consistency now. Your next, let's move these skins out of the way, be really delicate with those, I'll screw one of them up, um, is to take some cooked bacon, which you've just cooked, and, uh, and cut those up into little pieces. Okay. Cut the little gristly bits off as well guys. So we just got left with the, uh, the lean bacon bits um, in that. Just cut them into nice little tiny chunks. Probably about a centimetre, like that. Throw it into your mixture. So just cut the gristly bits off. Add them into the mixture. Let's get a taste 
awesome. So we were just saying, it's like tonight what we've done with the recipe is the um, the barbecue chicken wings, hot, hot wings, um, with the Wilson Super Sauce, uh, the barbecue boot cup sauce, and now we're going to have these potato skins. It's like proper soul food tonight. So if you've um, if you've done the KFC style styled barbecue uh, boot cup chicken as well, you'd be um, probably going. Soul food, soul food in the oven. Okay, so the base has gone in there, just like so. Again, mash it up. What time are we on? Okay, we'll rock. Mash, mash, mash. Damn, mash. This is like the fluffiest mash I've ever seen. Okay, you want to nice, make sure it's nice and fluffy. And then, boom, go yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes awesome. Grab yourself a tray. Grab yourself a skin. Oh, that amazing. Grab yourself a skin. Grab yourself a spoon. Uh, uh, uh. Get a dollop of the potato. And reline, refill your uh, potato skins. <laughs> oh, check it out. Okay. Like so. Joe! Yeah. How would you long would you like to cook these for? Do we bake them? Do we grill them? Um I've just filled them up with a the mixture again now. Mm-hmm. So they don't need cooking for any longer, do they? Okay, I'm just gonna bang them in the oven and bake them for a little longer then. So guys, um, either grate some goat's cheese on top and grill them, because they're all cooked now, anyway now, and grill them, um, but I've not got any hard goat's cheese, so all I'm going to do, say again, oh we might have, all I'm going to do is um, whack these back in the oven, bake them with the, with the hot ones that are in the oven right now, okay, oh and it's not, that looks like this looks like dry feet, your dad's feet. You watch this, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's better with hard Dad, you're an awesome cook, but I could teach you a thing or two. Or you could as well. Okay. Yeah, but that looks like. I, honestly, the soft goat cheese is like really, um, really fluffy. Okay, last one going in. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. Not done, Paul. Yeah, soul food. Should we play some jazz? Huh? Some jazz. Some, some Motown. Okay. So, voila. There. Let me uh, potato skins and. Get the sergeant pepper milk. And then whack them back in the oven uh, just to bake. While I do that, I'm going to take my hot wings out. <laughs> Joe, we're in for a treat. They smell amazing. You guys are Oh shit! Fuck. One just jumped out at me. I burnt me. Um, okay, so all I'm gonna do now is whack them uh, hot wings back in the oven. 150 degrees Celsius, they're in there for the next 10 minutes. All I'm gonna do with my chicken now is turn them over um, just so I can cook them on this side. Man, I'll tell you what, these, the smell coming off these wings right now. It's so divine that I am so, so annoyed with myself that that chicken on the floor right there managed to jump out. That's how high it was, it was jumping out. So I'm just going to turn these wings as delicately as possible. It's starting to get really gooey as well now with the, with the sauce, which we wanted. Mm. 
nice. Okay, and then just grab my brush, paste it again with this reduced sauce, just on the top. Seriously, it smells so good. I wish this was smell of vision right now because you would love it. You would be watering at the mouth over this chicken right now. Yes. Come on. Let me crank my heat up now in the oven. 200 because we want these to get really gooey, crispy on top now. Um, we've got 10 minutes to do it in. I, just, I don't even want to put them back in the oven because I just want to stand there and smell them right now. I coated. Still good. Okay, back in the oven. Middle tray in the oven. 120 degrees, uh, sorry, 200 degrees Celsius, um, and um, hot wings in there, the barbecue sauce, and the potato skins. Bob's your uncle. Hello. Um, so, here's the final result, guys. You see that? It's piping hot at the moment, but um, we've got our potato skins, our soul food, um, and we've got our hot wings. Check them bad boys out! So that's with the um, the boot camp barbecue sauce that I've just coated. Cooked them in a bag, baking bag, for 30 minutes. Um, then took them out, cook, took them out of the bag, put them in a, in a tray, um, placed them down in the tray, and then just brushed over the sauce that was at the bottom of the tray. Cooked them for 10 minutes. Um, Turn the heat up to about 200, cook them for 10 minutes, and then flip them over, brush them again with the sauce, so that's about the bottom of the tray, cook them again for 10 minutes while you finish off the, if you're going to do potato skins, finish off the potato skins, but this is absolutely delicious guys, so check it out, uh, and let me know what you think.